Guys, we have a problem. My fridge uh, did not turn on. I plugged it in, I had it going, and then it turned off. And I didn't know that until it was a little bit late. So today, we have to find a trash can so I can throw away my fridge. Now this is a reality of van life. It's not a good one. It's not one that happens all the time, but it does happen. It's just like every other thing. Things can fail. So I am going to check the cord to make sure the cord is working correctly and that I don't need to replace it. I'm also going to check the battery because I've been plugging this into the rock piles and well we know that's been a journey. And um, then we're going to clean out the fridge. Mm. I hate whenever I have wasted things. But at least I didn't have a lot of things in there that are going to be trashed. So that's good. So with that said, we're going to get under the bed and uh, do this. But first, let's get some sunglasses because it's a little bright outside. We'll just put these on for now. This is fine. Okay, so currently it's not plugged in at all because once I figured out that it was not working, I just didn't bother wasting battery because, you know, also I didn't want it to be plugged in if it was having an issue with the fridge itself because I was afraid that the fridge might get too hot. So I just kind of unplugged it because I knew everything in here is bad now. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay, so the only things that really are going to have to go away for sure are going to be this. It's still cold in there, but I don't trust it. It's been off for a bit. So we're going to throw this away. We're also probably going to have to throw away our mustard, which, boo. Ah. Um, definitely the cranberry juice because... Well, I think, maybe not. Let's see. Does it have a label that says that if it's gotten warm? Oh, it just says after opening. So it actually might be okay. Uh, we'll keep this one. We'll set it right here. And then we definitely have to get rid of the butter because the butter I know has gone bad. I can feel that it's not cold enough. This guy's still good. Um, the cheese, the cheese appears okay not great there's no we're just gonna throw it away i hate to do that but we're gonna do it oh this is so frustrating so into our trash bag all of this will go again not our happiest moment but at least it was only this stuff it could have been much 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 worse. Now the things I have left in here obviously are canned so they're fine and then we're gonna put this guy back in here and I'll make a judgment call before I drink this if it smells funny or anything like that but all this is good and then there's nothing in here so fridge is cleaned out of anything that is bad. Time to close it up and uh, we can push it back in and then figure out what's going on. We won't push it in all the way though because I want to be able to see the display nice. Okay, this will do it right here. This is a good space for it. We can see the display. We can access the cord. We can find it. Let's look at it up close. Nothing appears to be weird, although there are some wear marks on it. Um, everything seems to be still functioning. Okay. So I don't think it's the cord, but let's plug it into the power station. Actually, let's plug it into this power station and see if it works or if it pops out or anything. And then we'll plug it into this guy, which is its actual person thing. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know, along the way, I've had a lot of challenges. Van life can do that sometimes. It's just like a house. You're going to have things that work. You're going to have things that break down. You're going to have things that you have to fix. Today, the fridge is that. And does it absolutely suck that we just lost groceries? Yes, yes, it does. I hate that. I hate that we lost groceries. But to my defense, the creamer was almost empty anyway, so I don't feel as bad about that one. Now, the butter was about halfway used, so again, I've gotten some good use out of it. It wasn't like any of these things were brand new, so that's good. Doesn't justify it, but it makes me feel a little bit better on the inside. You know, sometimes we, we make these unrealistic justifications just for ourselves. I do that too. Um, so with that said, let's see if we can figure this out or if I need to order another cord. While I'm here in the Phoenix area, this would be a great time to order a cord if I need to because there's tons of Amazon drop boxes and you can actually get the Alpicool cord online very inexpensively. If you'll remember back to the Pacific Northwest when Riley and I were traveling, her refrigerator had an issue where it just wouldn't stay plugged in. It kept having issues and she had to order a new cord. And it was a much bigger ordeal then because we were on the coast and there are like very few Amazon drop boxes there. We had to drive all the way to Portland for her to be able to pick up this thing. And it was just a big, huge 
all day endeavor. Here I could order it, it could be there like tomorrow or the next day, and I could just go pick it up and plug it in and be done. Crossing our fingers we don't have to do that though because even though it's super convenient, still don't want to have to have that kind of issue. You know, it's just not fun. Okay, here we go. I have opened up the port. We are grabbing our cord. We are placing it inside and it did make the bing noise, the ding. So it is pulling watts and I'm gonna unplug this just to see how many watts it is pulling. So that is pulling all 14 of those watts. Oh wait, now it's gone down to zero. Okay, that's weird. Oh, there we go, there we go. 53, 38, it's gonna bounce back and forth for just a little bit while it's trying to figure out how much power it needs to get to where it's going. That is normal. So this is good, this means it's not the cord. Also, it kind of flashes on the screen. It doesn't in person, but it is working. So I'm not sure what exactly happened. So is it the rock pal? Is that the problem? Now we're gonna test that because it's definitely working when it's plugged into the Pecron. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with my rock pal, I've kind of had a little bit of a struggle bus with this one. I review a lot of power stations here on the channel and this one has been the biggest question mark. I think I personally just got a unit that's a little off on the display, but I don't know. I have reached out to the company. Many of you have asked if I have, I have, and um, this is not typical for them. So <laughs> we'll figure this out eventually. But um, for now, I am rocking with this while it's in the van and we're gonna try to plug it in and cross our fingers it's not the rock pal that was the problem. Maybe it was just something about the push in on the, the things. I don't know. We'll find out though. Okay, in order to test this, we just turn this on and it pops up. The screen immediately turns on. We have 89% and it's pulling two watts just turned on. Nothing has been plugged in and the refrigerator never actually plugged in and worked. So this is ridiculous that this went from 100% to 89% having been turned off. See what I'm talking about? The Rock Pals is being a little weird, but we're gonna try it anyway, just to see, and um, see if the Rock Pals was in fact the problem. We're gonna take this out, and we're gonna put it into here. Okay, the fridge actually turned on. So again, I'm, I'm not sure if it was the Rock Pals that was the fault, or, or what? The cord does not seem to be the problem though. You know, that's the wild thing about van life. You're constantly checking things because you're in a moving vehicle. So they're bouncing up and down. So things happen. Now it could have come undone at the actual source, which is the refrigerator where it plugs in. Let me show you what that cord looks like. Right here, my, my rug just kind of bent up a little bit when we pulled it out, but right here is also a cord. This seemed to be attached well. It could have come a little bit loose, but everything seems to be okay now. I just don't know. I'm gonna leave it on here for a little while to see if it runs well. I don't have anything in here that can spoil now. And so I'm just gonna do kind of like a test between the two. And of course I have to find a trash can to throw away my groceries. But for the time being, let's push it back under to where it lives, fix our rug, move our cords in a little bit closer, scoot the battery back just a little bit because we're finished playing with it. And, um, we're just gonna let it do its thing. In the meantime, I'm gonna get dressed so that I can go do a little bit of work, and then I'll check back with it after that to make sure everything's still going well. Right now, it's currently pulling about 29 watts on the Rock Pal, which is slightly less than this one, but it's also cooled down a little bit because it was already plugged into this guy right here. Okay, I have been changing, getting a few things ready for the day, and now it's time to check the refrigerator. Let's see if it's still running. I haven't heard it go beep, so I'm thinking it is. So I hope the issue is finished. Again, I don't know what exactly it has been. I'm gonna keep monitoring this and I'm gonna keep it plugged in for a little bit longer just to make sure that we don't have like a short or anything. And I'm just gonna do some other like maintenance items before I actually put food in it. I hate running down my batteries like this just for tests, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense to do this just so that we can troubleshoot and make sure everything is working correctly. So with that said, I'm gonna pack my shower bag and um, then we'll check it again. But before we do, you see it's still pulling. It has gotten to the temperature it's supposed to, so it's only pulling about one watt now. So everything seems good. There's still light on under there. So yeah, um, no idea, no idea. Oh, guys, I hate when things don't go the way they're supposed to. It's really, really frustrating, but that's part of van life. And if you're not okay with that, then you're not gonna do so well in the van journey. I'm gonna go ahead and put just some oversized sweats into my bag for later. 
because after I finish adventuring today, that's what I'm gonna be doing. And then these will just be pajamas. So I usually will just pack some nice loose things whenever I go to the gym. That way after I leave, I don't have to put on anything tight like leggings. I also during the summertime have like a romper that I wear whenever I leave because it's nice and comfortable and cool. And that helps me from getting immediately hot again. But um, this is what I'm taking with me. So now we just gotta put it in the bag. And um, this is my shower bag. So this should only take a second. Um, so far, no more, uh, no more beeping still. So again, I think we're okay. I think we are. It's just one of those wild card kind of things. It's a once in a million kind of moment that just kind of happens. It's not ideal. It's not perfect, but it is reality. Okay, shower bag is ready to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my camera off of my shelf, set it on my bed, because that's where it lives. And um, I'm gonna move my Apple Watch too, because I forgot to charge it last night, oops. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and put away my dirty clothes from yesterday into my dirty clothes bag. Then we're gonna move this guy to like this little hole so it sits in here nicely. And at the same time, we're gonna push it back so it's nowhere near the cord. And then we hydrate because well, today's gonna be one of those days. It is already almost noon and I've been at camp trying to troubleshoot my phone, this refrigerator, and record a couple voiceovers. Normally I like to be away from camp by now. I have some later afternoon adventures, so I definitely have to be prepared for those. But this has been problematic. This whole day has just been a weird day. <sighs> that doesn't mean we can't stay hydrated though. So let's check a couple other things take our windows down and um, get moving. Pulling two watts right now, still 89%. We're doing good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy off because we're not gonna need it anymore. But my phone's currently pulling 12 watts while I'm filming. Of course, to do this, we just hold this down, goes off, then we unplug. This is a good time to talk to you guys about what else has been going on. I told you the phone was having issues. I have an iPhone. It's always been my like go-to backup for recording. And today, for some reason, it just kept saying full, 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 full. It's not full, it's not full. I just have an issue with the iCloud. My iCloud has continuously updated over and over, even when I turned the iCloud off. So this morning I basically woke up and it had tried to download everything that was onto the cloud back to my phone. And that is a lot. So I have photos on the iCloud that have gotten sucked up in there just at random intervals. I have video that I have recorded and it was trying to re-download it after it had already uploaded it. I have a lot of things that I've done for Nomad News that I have in my downloads folder that I had deleted, but they came back. It's just a lot, guys. You have to have a sense of humor if you're gonna do what I do. To be a creator, you have to have like a system that works for you and no two systems are gonna be the same. But when your system fails, like it did for me today with the refrigerator and the phone, it's just kind of like a, <laughs> okay, I get it, life. Today, we're supposed to have a sense of humor and laugh a little bit. Cool, we can do that. We can definitely do that. <sighs> Some days, again, I've said this time and time again before, some days you're the dog, some days you're the hydrant. Today, I am the hydrant, but in a like laughable way. I could get stressed out, I could get angry, but instead I'm just going to whoo, tackle it one step at a time. And that's the best advice I can give you guys if you wanna be a nomad or you wanna be a digital creator. Always have a sense of humor because life is not gonna always work out your way. And if you let every single thing that gets to you on the road, like really get to you, you're not gonna have a good time. You're just not. <laughs> With that said, I'm gonna take down my window covers and uh, let's get on the road. Yes. And again, my front seat, not ideal, but this is what it looks like right now. I have laundry here. I have my jacket, which can't touch anything else because it smells like campfire. Water, toilet, some groceries, but also some things that need to go in the roof box here. It just looks like a little bit of a mess, but this actually is controlled chaos. I know what's going on. And these guys are about to go in their bag and then we can go, I think. I'm gonna do it once over though. Yep, forgot something, fairy lights. They have to definitely go off, otherwise we won't have batteries this evening. Okay, so as you can see, the windows are taken care of now and we can hit the road to look for a trash can. I'm really excited to get this day moving. It's a lot later than I normally would get off, but it is what it is. Van life is hard sometimes. And I'm not talking about like hard, like, oh my gosh, everything is horrible, wrong. Sometimes it's just the little things that add up to make things really bad. For example, my phone today, doing the weird thing where it was like, 
grabbing everything off the cloud and re-downloading it. Absolutely unnecessary, but just makes it a little bit harder to do what you're trying to do. Same thing with the refrigerator. Same thing with all the other tiny little microscopic things that might not matter a lot, but when you add them all together in series, just become a little overwhelming. Riley and I were talking the other day, and I think we said it best whenever we were talking about regular things that you do in a home. Whenever you're in a home, you can go into the bathroom, fully stripped down, take your shower, brush your teeth, put your towel on and walk into the other room and not even worry about the bathroom immediately. But in your van, you have to be intentional. In my case, I would have to pop out a toilet or pull out a shower tent to uh, actually do those actions. Then I would have to do the action itself and then I would have to clean up and put everything away. So in van life, sometimes the simple tasks take a little bit longer. If I were in a traditional sticks and bricks and my refrigerator were messed up, I'd get on the phone and say, hey, come and fix this help me repair man but in a van it's not like that you have to be your own repair man and if you can't then you have to find somebody who specializes in the thing that you need repaired and it's not like a traditional hey repair man call it's very very different your home on wheels is your home however it is also not a traditional home so the work that's done inside of it can't be typically done by the traditional people who would do it at your home so um you get to be an expert in a lot of weird stuff and uh that's kind of why i like it i learn a lot and get new brain wrinkles all the time speaking of which since i'm in the phoenix area we're about to go off onto an adventure that i'll share with you on another upload i'm gonna get some brain wrinkles i'm gonna de-stress from this hard morning and uh, do something kind of fun oh but first i'm gonna find that trash can and potentially brush my hair again it's super windy outside today so this should be very interesting but remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. And as much as sometimes those good times can be interrupted by things like what's happened today, overall, it's the experience itself that is the good time. Till next time guys, bye.